Hey there, I'm your host Lesoi, and in today's video I'll show you how to create an NPC who will move about the world freely. So if I hit the play button, we can see our NPC spawns, he'll go to a certain location, he'll pause for a bit, and then he will resume walking. Now the behavior displayed by the AI can be customized to your liking, and with all that said, let's begin. Open up your project, and let's go to the content drawer. Over here, we want to create a new folder for our NPC or our AI. Let's right click, go to new folder and call this something like NPC. Then inside this folder, I want to right click, go to blueprint class and create a character class. So this will be called BP underscore NPC. And once inside, let's go to our mesh and for the skeletal mesh asset, select your character. I only have Brady, so that's what I'll be using. Then for the anim class, select your animation blueprint. And mine is called AB underscore Brady. Then for location, let's change it to minus 90 since he's displaced. And for rotation, let's do the same. So now we can compile and save. And in the event graph, let's get rid of these two guys. Let's create a custom event. And this can be called something like roaming. And we want to call this event from the event begin play. So let's say roaming just like so and then from here let's do ai move to and we are moving ourselves so from pawn get a self reference just like so and the destination you want to be get random reachable point in radius from here you have two options you can either move from the actor location or from the world location so to do actor location we can get get actor location and that's that but let's say you want the map we can do get world location and select mesh like so then at the very end on success we want to call this event once again so he continues to roam but if you want a delay like i had in the overview what you can do let's get a delay and plug this into here so you can either have a set value or you can randomize it so if you want to randomize it drag and say random float in range over here you can have a minimum and a maximum value and he'll move in between those two so let's do one second and something like four that's perfect now we can compile and save and in our world we want to do one more thing let's place a volume mesh bounce volume uh, is that what's it called yeah nav mesh bounce volume so this will determine the area that the player will move in so if I drag this down and press P, we can see uh, the area that it's affecting. So let's make it really big, about world size. That should be fine. And if I place my character, we can see him move. So let's do that real quick. There we go. And if I hit play, now we can see he's not moving. Ah, yeah, I forgot one thing. So over here in the radius, I never said anything. So let's set this value to be 8,000, for example, compile and save, and now he'll be moving. So you can see he's running, but I don't want him to run. I want to set a speed. So if I want to do that, we can get our character movement and say set speed and select set max walk speed. So here we can determine how fast he'll move while he's roaming. And we can also change that if he sees us. So let's connect this into here, connect that there. And let's say I want to be the walking speed, which I know is 150. Now, if I compile and save, we can see that our NPC will simply walk to a destination. He'll pause for a bit. And after that little time, he'll continue to move. So guys, that's it for the tutorial. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And as always, happy developing.